this is a review of the Ranergy Voyager 10 amp waterproof solar charge controller. Uh, and I'm using it just with a lithium, uh, lithium iron manganese phosphate LIFPO4, but there's also the manganese or something in there. It's supposed to make it last longer, I guess. Uh, and I'm using um, two flexible solar panels uh, with the branch connectors, can go up to four or five. They advertise to be about 100 watts each, but I'm getting like 20 or 40 watts. It's ridiculous. Um, but so I've got these two in series, which is a surprise to me. I had been running them in parallel, uh, but I just wanted to see if it would work. Uh, after reading the user manual, it says that it can go up to 55 volts, uh, but it seemed to imply that was only if it was on the 24 volt setting. But I'm using 112 volt drop in replacement lithium, and it seems to be working just fine. Uh, not really giving any problems. The voltage is going up, um, showing 3.5 amps. Uh, each panel is about 25 volts open circuit voltage, so call it 50 volts in series. Uh, 50 times 3.5, talking about 150 watts. That's pretty good. I, I doubt it. I don't believe that's true, but uh, seems to be going up. Uh, the waterproofness of this thing is awesome. It has fallen in the water, been completely submerged down to three feet numerous times. It's been on the boat uh, forever, and I've got no no major issues the terminals uh, obviously they're going to corrode um, but if you just leave them in there permanently it's not going to be a huge deal uh, but it is a little bit weird um, the choice that it chooses to scroll through so right you've got like your battery voltage uh, you've got your uh, kilowatt hours the total solar absorption uh, you've got the amps but it seems to be showing and I know it's got the 25C uh, for thermal temperature detection for battery compensation, you know, to avoid giving it full juice for too hot or too cold. But I don't have the sensor connected. You could connect it, but I just, I haven't. I don't have one yet. But the weird thing to me is, let's look at it. So that's battery 13.5 volt. But then photovoltaic is also 13.5 volt. And it seems to always be identical the battery and photovoltaic voltage which is weird but it never I just wrote it off because they're 25 open circuit voltage so call it 20 ish volts normally